Stick plenty of ice in there, Linda. I need to cool down. You shouldn't let Mel get you like that. Who said it was Mel? What do you think of your condition? My condition? What, as a mother? Like Mel isn't anymore. Listen, I don't know what you're having a pop at me. But have you any idea how awful I felt telling her she couldn't have that money? She ain't got the right, has she? Well, you haven't got to work with her. How am I supposed to look her in the eye with you carrying on? I could have lost everything because of her, King. And she did lose everything. Come on, Phil, we're the lucky ones here. You know, everything's going so well. Louise is back home. You smooth things over with Ben. This little one. I just can't help feeling for her. I suppose I can't complain, can I? It's a go. Off a melon olive branch. You are joking, aren't you? Well, why not? Be the bigger man here. Because my family and my kids come first, before anything, anything or anyone. All of my kids. Nice having Lou with us. Five minutes back in Walford, and I can't get a look in. Oh, flipping Phil. He's like a big brick wall between me and her. Oh, God knows what he will do now. I blew my top when Hunter told me how much he'd paid for this. 90 quid for a shirt. I said to him you can get a whole outfit for that. Don't be tight, Mum, he says. Always likes to look his best. Drives him mad if he runs out of hair gel. He's so like his dad. How can you be so calm after everything Phil's done? Why don't you go for a walk, get some fresh air, just till I finish up? Scream, Mel, please! Shout! Something! I tell you what, go and get a takeaway. Chinese, yeah? Mel! Don't worry about me. Don't worry about Phil either. You can always knock down a brick wall. Just gotta know where to hit it. 